Do you still need to buy software to optimize your Windows PC? I think you know the answer already. In short, no. If you are a Windows 10 or 11 user, then you pretty much don't have to worry about stuff because the built-in Windows security, the Microsoft Defender, is good enough nowadays. It has come a long way from its original days and it can detect most old school viruses now. So if you have downloaded something that's infected, it will detect and automatically quarantine that for you. In my case, it has been years since I installed any dedicated antivirus and I browse the internet a lot. I'm not saying this Defender is perfect though, there may be newer malware which this thing may not recognize. You see, every antivirus works in a similar manner. There is something called a virus definition which is basically something to compare every file. If the file has some code that matches the virus definition, it gets flagged as a virus. And obviously, the more frequently you update this definition to be up to date with everything that's going on out there, the more threats you will be protected against. And unfortunately, Microsoft Defender is not the fastest one to be updated. So if you are someone who constantly browses a lot of shitty, shady websites, then I guess it's better you get a separate tool for that. Maybe something free like malware bytes, that's pretty good. Avast antivirus is good too, or maybe you can consider spending some money for an actual paid one like Norton. Norton is really nice. But like I said, you don't need it. An average person doesn't need it when you're browsing online. In fact, most browsers that we use like Chrome or Brave have gotten good enough to recognize malicious sites, so they won't even let you go there in the first place. So you're good to go with the stock tools that you have. And the same can be said for optimizing your PC. The simplest way to remove some junk files and free up your storage is by disk cleanup. You can just search for disk cleanup and then select the target drive, whichever you wish. It'll present a list of options to you, which you can select. And once you're done with that, you can click OK. Everything that's shown in that list will be non-essential, non-critical files, so you can go ahead and erase them. Depending on how many files you download and use, you will probably free up a couple of GBs of space. And as for freeing up RAM space, you can just do that with Task Manager. Make sure you check your startup apps list and anything that's listed as a high impact app, make sure you have kept it as off. That'll help your system boot up faster. And in the processes tab, you can anyway look at whichever is consuming highest resources. I'm absolutely sure you already know that and I'm telling you that's good enough. These other cleaning apps are not really needed anymore because our systems have gotten advanced enough that they can function without them. But as I mentioned, if you are running an older version of Windows or you constantly visit questionable sites, then maybe it's better to have an additional layer of malware security. And don't buy any of the OEM software like this Lenovo Van or anything, I've made a video explaining why it's completely useless and even though I knew it was useless, I spent money to get the subscription to make sure I'm 100% sure that it is useless and yeah, it's not gonna help you in any way. It doesn't really give you an actual diagnosis, it doesn't even tell you what it has fixed and I don't even see a difference before and after it fixes something, so it might as well have not been there. Well, that's been my answer. What about you? Do you use some antivirus cleaning software on a daily basis? If so, why? 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 Why?